many components to ocean acidification. The carbon cycle. To explain the phenomena of ocean acidification, the carbon cycle plays a vital role. The carbon cycle describes the circulation of carbon in our world. This involves many rates of fluxes into and out of different places and causes called reservoirs. These include the soil, biota, the ocean, and the atmosphere. Before the industrial era began, the rates of carbon circulating within the atmosphere were steady. However, since then we have gradually increased the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. Over the past 250 years, atmospheric CO2 levels have increased by nearly 40% from pre-industrial levels to approximately 280 ppm to nearly 384 ppm in 2007. This, in effect, has progressively increased the amount of carbon in the ocean, resulting in ocean acidification. Ocean acidification is the cause of several detrimental effects, which brings us to... Ocean acidification. Ocean uptake usually refers to man-made CO2 emissions caused by burning fossil fuels, deforestation, industrialization, cement production, and other land changes. Ocean uptake to CO2 helps moderate future atmos atmospheric climate change, but the hydrolysis of CO2 in seawater decreases the hydrogen ion concentration. Although the oceans observe, ab absorb only one-third of F anthropogenic carbon from the atmosphere, rising atmospheric carbon levels affect current ocean acidification issues. Present con concentration of atmospheric carbon is about 378 ppmv parts per million by volume. By the year 2050, it's, esti it's estimated that concentration will rise to a staggering 500 ppmv. By the end of the century, it will, be it will become another 0.3 to 0.4 units lower. This will exceed the toxic limit of carbon dioxide exposure of a lifetime, which is estimated to be around 4 to 6 ppmv. As the atmospheric carbon gathers around the surface of the ocean, the water becomes more acidic. The solution of carbon dioxide is in seawater is the main cause for increase in acidity. Aqueous CO2 concentrations increase the carbon ion concentration. This, this makes it harder for marine calcifying organisms to form biogenic calcium carbonate. Other calcifying organisms under high levels of CO2 will reduce calcification and growth rates. Calcification. Calcification is an important process that many organisms like mollusks, crustaceans, corals, and tiny phytoplankton use to make protective shells and plates for themselves. The main ingredient they use to make their shells is calcium carbonate, which is naturally saturated in the ocean water solution at specific depths and pH levels. The calcifying organism intakes the CaCO3 2 plus molecule and then deionizes it, expelling the hydrogen ions. This raises the pH level inside their body, which increases the calcite saturation rate, therefore increasing the precipitation or shell formation rate. Calcifying organisms are an important majority of the base of the food chain in the ocean. They span the range of both autotrophs and heterotrophs. For example, this tiny phytoplankton is eaten by a larger zooplankton, which then becomes lunch for a shrimp or krill. Then, a bigger fish or whale comes along and eats the shrimp or krill, which is their staple diet. Finally, the fish is caught and either eaten or sold on the market by the top predator, humans. Impacts of ocean acidification. As the pH of the ocean decreases, it inhibits organisms from creating calcium carbonate shells, which eventually kills the ocean. Coral reefs are also affected by ocean acidification. As pH lowers, fewer and fewer corals are able to survive. As the basis of an ecosystem, the death of corals results in the rest of the food chain problem. As 
algae and other calcifying organisms are weakened or killed by acidification. Higher level organisms that compose many, po many of the popular fisheries also die off. Ocean acidification is predicted to cause a loss of millions of tons of marine product. Increased ocean acidity will also alter acoustic properties of the ocean by making sound move faster through water, which makes the ocean louder. This will create difficulties for animals that rely on ec echolocation to hunt and navigate throughout the sea. Lower pH will also cause a decrease in the availability of many vital nutrients such as ammonia, silicone, and phosphorus. Possible solutions. There is no way for us to remove the CO2 from the ocean. It will take many thousands of years for natural processes to remove it. There are a few theoretical quick fixes for ocean acidification such as dumping limestone into the water to boost mineral levels and buffer the ability of carbon dioxide to change the pH. But we would have to dig up 60 square kilometers of chalk to, to a depth of 100 meters every year to provide enough. Also, it would cost way too much money to do this. Currently, the only answer is for the world to work together and stop emitting so much carbon dioxide by using sources of renewable energy and making stricter environmental policies. The, the end! end. <laughs>